verse 23, Surah Shura, that I don't want any reward, illa al-mawadda tafil ghurba. Just you should have mawadda, love of my family. One of these qurba is Imam Hussain alayhi salam. So Imam Hussain is the one that we should love him and we should follow him as it is the meaning of mawadda. Mawadda is the love that you prove it. It's not just in your heart. It's not like hope. It's not like mahabba. Mahabba is in your heart. But mawadda is the love that you show it and prove it. Another verse is verse 33, chapter 33, 33, 33. Allah wants to purify you, Ahl al -Bayt. So one of this Ahl al is Imam Hussain alayhi salam. That Allah said, I, I want to purify you. This is the meaning of Isma. Because Allah said, I want to purify you. Purify from everything. Once Prophet Sallallahu gathered them, the Prophet Imam Ali, Lady Fatima, Imam Hassan, Imam Hussain alayhi salam. And even the wife of the Prophet wants to join them. The Prophet said, you are good, Umm Salama, but you are not from them among us. Then he put his Aba or his Kisa, and then Allah revealed this verse, And the Prophet said, they are Ahl Bayti. So Imam Hussain is one of them. In verse 59, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, Ati Allah wa ati al Rasul wa ulil amr minkum. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger and obey the ulul amr. Okay? That we believe this ulul amr, they are the 12 Imams that we should obey them. And now the Imam al Mahdi that he is alive. But in the time of Imam Hussein, after the martyrdom of Imam Hassan, salam, who was the ulul amr of Muslims? He was Imam Hussein. Salam. So Imam Hussein is. One of the Ulul Amr that Allah said you should obey them. In verse 55, chapter 5, chapter Ma'idah, 555. Allah says, Inna wa Allah wa amanu. Your wali, your guardian, not your friend, your guardian is Allah and his messenger and some mu'mineen. That the first one is Imam Ali alayhi salam, and then the third one is Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So even this verse is about Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Another verse we call it Ayatul Mubahala in Surah Ali Imran, verse 61. That Allah said, O oh Prophet, if this Christian, they don't accept you, all tell them, Ta'alaw, nadu abna'ana wa abna'akum wa nisa'ana wa nisa'akum. Let's pray against each other, do Mubahala. Abna'ana wa abna'akum. Abna'ana, our children, was Hassan and Hussein. So Hussein was part of this verse. And Anfusana wa Anfusakum, Anfus was, was Imam Ali alayhi salam. The verse in Surah Safat that speaks about the story of Ibrahim, I explained before. After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Ibrahim alayhi salam to sacrifice his son, Ibrahim wanted to do it. Allah said, But Saddaqta Ruya, you passed the test, so it's fine. Then he sent a sheep. Then Allah said, وَفَدَيْنَاهُ بِذَبْحٍ عَظِيمٍ We change, we exchange, we can say. Ismail, the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam, it's one, something that was azim, big. Allah didn't say بِذَبْحٍ mubarak. If it was mubarak, we say mubarak because it was from Allah. So it was blessed. But azim is big, the sheep is not big. We have a hadith that even Imam Hussain said, I am the ذَبْحٍ عظيم. That time Allah said, okay, now you don't sacrifice your son, but the last prophet will sacrifice his son. And it will happen to Imam Hussain